How to use Google Analytics in 2016 Simplified version When you log into Google Analytics you can press on admin press on tracking info press on data collection and you can actually read the terms and conditions and then by simply pressing these options we can enable remarketing as well as different features very easy to tweak but it's worth it so keep that in mind let's press on property settings now and let me show you that you know what you have different options as well enabling demographics or interest reports is only smart once again follow the links make small adjustments to your tracking code and then have options for these additional features. You can link Google AdWords, AdSense, and so on to your Google Analytics, make them all talk with one another, as well as Google Webmaster Tools Search Console. So let's press on reporting. Here we are looking at audience tab. So I'm not going to go and try and explain all of these features because the fact is that's going to take us three months, right? Real time tracking what free platform allows you and me as website owners that option. Google Analytics does for free. You can create your own private or custom dashboards to just see what is of importance for your website. So the menus are actually named very intelligently, I believe. Audience is all to do with people. Acquisition is how you brought people to your website. Behavior is what they have done on your website and how they interacted and so on. And then you have conversions as well. So let's press on audience overview. This is what we're seeing. So most people, when they look at this on internet, Apparently, bounce rate is important and so on, right? Well, bounce rate is not a smart metric for you to look at and say, hmm, my website is doing great because I have low bounce rate. Bounce rate can mean that someone searched Google, found you, found your website, found the answers, and then bounced off. So therefore, don't look at this and say, oh, I have low bounce rate, so I must be doing something good, right? It doesn't work like that. Also, keep in mind your web hosting manager gives you the logs as well. For example, or stats or other um, log files to look at as well. Let's look at all stats. I just want to show you the visit duration. As you can see, the typical behavior of an internet searcher is that they land on a particular website or landing page and within the 30 seconds a lot of them bounce off that could be that there is a lot of automated bots giving us those hits as well so at the end of the day looking at that data of your log files your aim should always be to increase the visit duration so looking at this session duration and looking at this visit duration, that's a metric that you can be certain in knowing that it's helping your website to grow. So always try to increase the visit duration by providing quality content. Furthermore, returning visitors is only smart. That means people are knowing about your website when they found you and then later on revisiting your website. So that's another smart glimpse that you should look at as in look at it quickly and say you know what returning visitors is that coming higher and higher because if it is then you're doing all the good things okay so as you can see we have demographics interest base reportings and so on so let's press on behavior new versus returning obviously that is of importance to you Engagement, let's look at engagement. As you can see, we're looking at the similar data. That's why I show you that your log files can also be there for you to analyze user interactions as well. So moving on, let's take a look at 
technology. Let's take a look at mobile as well. Technology is what people are using, the technology that they're using. You can press on these additional features to see. Yeah, let's press on Chrome. Chrome users from browser version and so on had this many sessions and so on, right? So you have those options. Furthermore, you can press on advanced and select different metrics and filters as well. So let's leave that aside for time being. Let's look at mobile because mobile is on the rise in 2016, right? But surely that will actually depend on the industry that you're participating in on internet. Because if your visitors or target audience is young audience, then surely they will be more inclined to use their mobile devices per se, right? Elderly citizens perhaps may use desktop um, devices to log in to visit your website. As in log into internet, use large um, screens and so on, right? Also, where your target audience is residing on this planet, Asian um, century is the century you and I are living in. That means there is a lot of mobile usage coming from Asia. So if your target audience is in Asia, then optimizing your overall online marketing efforts to better gear towards mobile device targeting, as in people who are using mobile devices, may only be smart for you to consider. So let's move on. Let's look at acquisition. As you can see, AdWords, if you're running AdWords, then you have that option. But once you link Google Webmaster Tools, you can tap into search queries here, landing pages here, as well as quickly analyze different metrics as well. Social campaigns are important, part of your online growth, because social media marketing allows you to reach the people who participate in social media platforms. So let's look at let's look at behavior because this obviously is user interaction with your website and landing pages. You can see behavior flow, which is a nice looking feature. It may be confusing at the beginning to look at this and say, oh, okay, how do I take advantage of this? Once again, this is user interaction, behavior, as how people behave on your website. You can add additional steps or remove some of them quickly and easily. You can dive in by you know, zooming in and out to get that additional view and so on. Furthermore, you can have level of detail to be more detailed as you can see. Here, looking at this, obviously, for certain landing pages that you have, um, okay, I have my YouTube channel showcasing this here as well, but this is very important because ideally on your website, I'll show you my services website because that's really optimized, right? Now, although I'm not getting a lot of organic traffic through Google organic rankings, nonetheless, I don't have that many pages. So if you're a small business owner, then you may actually have a similar amount of pages and so on, right? So at the end of the day, when you're looking at that behavior flow, what that means is when people land on any page on your website, it's the flow of their visit. So that means Part of your search engine optimization and website optimization should be that how can you, as the website owner, influence that flow of visit? And because you can do that through call to actions, right? And then you can say, okay, when people land on whatever the page, then from that page, where else do they go? To what other pages do they go? And from that page, where do they go? Okay, so that's the visitor flow that you can have 
influence either by optimizing your call to actions as well. So keep that in mind. So let's move on. Let's look at site content. We can content drill down to really drill down to see, okay, when people land from certain pages, where else do they go? Landing pages are obviously important as well. I'll show you my other website because then we can see. Let's press on a different property. So you can have multiple properties in one Google Analytics account. So let me show you this, right? Let's say landing pages. Well, obviously my home page is getting the most lens. Then while well here, let me show you that behavior flow again, because then it'll make more sense to you. Let's say someone landed on my home page. Here I can, I can press on it and say highlight traffic through here. Now I can see from my home page, a visitor went to another page here, services page. From there, they went to this page. And I can say, you know what, highlight traffic through here now. And so on. So you can really get in there and really analyze how people are behaving when they land on your landing pages. Furthermore, anytime you see extra green you know, gear icons or triangle icons, press on them to see what else you can do with that. Because if it's there for you to press on it, then press on it to see, okay, what else can I do? Landing pages, that's landing pages. So we're looking at behavior flow in landing pages. But if we are event tracking, then you can look at that as well. Custom vari variables, social interactions perhaps, if you're advertising, obviously, with AdWords, that becomes very important because you want to get better returns for your investment, right? Acquisition from what sources did they come? Let's press on that. To see that's a direct traffic from my blog. People landed from Google. They went to this page and so on. So that's how you use behavior flow, okay? Let's do the content drill down again to see what we're doing here here if i was to press on let's say i'll press on this sample page now here you can see that i can select a different metric to further analyze what happened on that page and so on so content drill down gives you that option as well as always you have the option for advanced filtering as well Okay. Now, most people, they try to get more new visitors and so on. But I will advise you to always look at your exit pages as well. Makes sense? So you already know the importance of landing pages. But maybe you're not focusing your attention on your exit pages. Because exit pages are exit pages. People are leaving from that page. If that's the case, you may say, okay, can I improve those exit pages? Which exit pages use a lot make sense and then tweak them and optimize them accordingly so keep that in mind so let's look at landing pages once again here we can press on site usage and furthermore we can add different dimensions here as well as well as other metrics as well okay let's press on this link again so we're going back and forth in a sense but that's how you need to use Google Analytics to see, okay, what is of importance to me? You know, because this tool is there for you to understand your website visitors and how they are interacting with your website. And your aim is to analyze that and then improve your website accordingly. So as you can see, entrance, entrance path can also be changed saying, okay, from this page, you can see people entered, it says here, user started at this landing page, then viewed these pages and exited from these pages. So let's press on that. And then we can see they exited from certain pages. So as I've said, exit pages are also very important to analyze and optimize as well. Site speed, I don't know, this is rather very confusing for most website owners because you know, site speed can be tricky because um, let's look at page speed 
let's look at CSS improvements. Because if you understand CSS and how that works, then you'll understand that Google developers is suggesting something that is beyond the reach of 90% of Google Analytics users. Because your website, or in fact, I don't think I've seen a website that just uses this many small CSS that's external. Make sense? So most websites do use external style sheets. So you don't have to waste a lot of time trying to modify something as far as site speed is concerned, okay? Instead, ask yourself, you know, well, first of all, you gotta know where your target audience is because depending on where they're living, they may be using a better technology to access internet, faster broadband speeds perhaps, and so on. For example, in Australia, we really do have slow internet connection speed. So if your target audience is in Australia, then surely optimizing page load times may be ideal. But you need to take into other websites in a similar industry as yours. Meaning sometimes you need to provide that stunning looking image. And then, you know, cut your losses with page load times. Page load times affect a lot of user experience when your pages take very long time to load. Now, if that's the case, you definitely need to improve page load times, okay? The reason I show you that is because analytics will show you speed suggestions, which you may say, oh, okay, you know what, I really can't implement that. And I'm just telling you that maybe you shouldn't, because it may become complicated for you to tweak one part of your overall success just making that page load time improvements make sense because as I've shown you this doesn't make sense at all to optimize for 99% of websites and that's in millions of websites okay events if you're tracking events that's great in page analytics is something you should definitely explore that's why you enable the the um, additional features because you can see where are we you can see the browser size okay it's not showing this because I've got a lot of ad blocking um, plugins installed okay so at the end of the day I've just shown you the simple ways for you to really get in there and look at how you can take better advantage of Google Analytics for improving your website. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please give me a like and share this video, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.